on this edition of the news. We have first look images at the Holiday Troopers. First look at new figures from the next wave of Black Series, including the Phase 1 Clone Trooper, Cad Bane, Rebel Hoth Trooper, and three of the most loveliest Endor figures of Han, Luke, and Leia. Ooh, I'll save them until last. They are minty fresh. And we get to unbox this all the way from the USA. All this and more coming up. Welcome to YouTube, my television, your home at Star Wars action figure news today. Yes, all new haircut, all new me. Very cool. Some exciting things to show you that were revealed primarily from one source, one Instagrammer, Star Wars Poodoo, great name, <sighs> has all these figures and shared them out with the world. How? Do they get them early? They must work for Hazard. I don't know. I, I don't want to devour people in the comments, ask and the, you know. Doesn't matter, if you've got connections, use them. So, let me start off with the Holiday Troopers. This was the first one I saw today. Oh, there it is, the Range Trooper. The Range Trooper now comes in a white box and in the same style of box, the Phase 4 packaging, but it's got that white box style that was first edition stuff. And it comes with Dio, the reindeer. Now Dio, if you come back to me here, I brought Ray because obviously white box. That was the last time we saw Dio in the Black Series. Now he's painted brown as a reindeer and the white packaging, but uh, as you know, it's the new style of it. Very, very cool. Our Range Trooper is here. He was back in the day, number 64, from Solo. Excellent figure. So what do you think of this? This, to me, is a funny kind of thing. Like I've always said about blinging them up and making them fancy for carbonized lines. I like that idea, but this one, Christmassy, it only works for one time of the year. I know in the past you guys in the US have um, Disney Parks exclusive action figures that are Halloween based. You've probably had some Christmas ones, but I'm just too lazy to check. That most likely is. <laughs> but now we have a Range Trooper as Santa. Now, I guess the pack-in of the extra figure of Dio and that gun that's an icicle, cool, looks like Santa. I, I'm torn on this one. I don't know if I like it or not yet. I, I haven't warmed up to it. However, in the past, out uh, of the holiday trips, I said, oh, it's a holiday special, Boba Fett in Kenner Colors. There's still one more to come out of three that we've rumored. This is the first one. The next one, this one, Stormtrooper. As an elf wearing a sweater. His Vibro Axe is colored in the candy cane style. And he comes with a lovely little Porg, which is Snow White. Well, the Porgs, I believe the Porg that's packed into it is this one. But as you can see, I didn't see a lot of brown on it. So this one that's coming in the new pack may be, did that come in clear? A little bit white. Like a new deco to the original Porg mold we had. Some people aren't a fan of this one. Yet we have this one. Is it ticking the boxes? Red and green? Green and red? Elf? I think it's an elf style. I could be wrong. It's Christmas themed. Interesting thing from Hasbro. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Next up, the next wave of Black Series that are coming. We have got some rumors of the, what the figures are. Now we can see the figures. We had the rumor of the Phase 1 Clone Trooper. What does it look like? There it is. Lovely, lovely. Attack of the Clone. So it will sit in position number two, right next to the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. It's a nice, clean black and white. The image on the side, you can see the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. Not an exclusive, nice regular release, this one. So if you're a Clone Trooper fan, get on this one when it's available in the next wave. That next wave should be dropping in October, like right around the corner. These should be bursting out of the gate. The next one we'll have a look at is the Hoth Rebel Trooper, or the Rebel Trooper from Hoth, I should say it like that. In the new packaging, it is the same as the 40th anniversary version from Wave 2 of that line. Uh, this figure is number 3 in the packaging. It's going to follow Vader and Luke on the New Hope packaging where they're all going to have a big picture together. I'd like to see that eventually when there's like 10 figures. That should be a lovely panorama of Star Wars or A New Hope. I like to call it Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, that is a great figure. Don't, don't mock that one because 
people have bought that two of them to keep one on card and one to take out and m remove the face and out of the backpack and all that so this one you can do that with excellent but if you want to keep them all in the boxes have the nice picture you've got the same deal there next up an interesting one is Cad Bane. We have rumoured this one before as being a normal release. We've already got people who have them in the UK. It was a UK exclusive convention thing where you could buy it. Over there, the packaging's different, obviously. Not just the packaging being convention and this packaging. The side image is completely different as well. So as you can see on this one, the Cad Bane has his hat tilted. And we can see it's a little bit cut off, which joins up to the picture on here next to the Mandalorian Super Commando and you can see a little bit of hat in the picture and of course Do Toto is missing from the picture as well where does the convention image fall into place here we are not sure good to see if you can't get the convention one this one will be coming out soon of course in the next wave so out of all these reveals I've saved the best to last there is Dun, 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 not individually, but there they are together. Luke, Han, and Leia. Endor! Now these are the ones that are in that big fancy Heroes of Endor pack with Paplu and the speeder bike. Here they are individually for the next wave of Black Series. All with soft goods. That's nice. That is very, very nice. See, we're worried about Han not having his coat or his, his jacket there. Yes, he is. I, th <laughs> I like all of these. These look special. Of course, Return of the Jedi, one of the best films. Some of the nicest characters. I try to get a close-up of Luke, have a look, and I'll see if he's got the same face sculpt as the Jedi Knight, which is obviously the same film. They did the little head swap with the, you know, sandy blonde hair. It's a good face sculpt. Love it. Han, brilliant. Leia, beautiful. I need these in my life. They follow the Tebow, the Ewok, which is here in the green line, and Admiral Akbar. I gotta still get myself an Akbar. I truly do, because I wanna I wanna get the whole green line. The green from Return of the Jedi. Great figure. A little update from a previous video. I mentioned this blurg here you can see in the image, and I went, oh wow, it looks like a Japanese release. No, has no talent created this. This is all custom made. I apologize. I didn't know. I just got an image thrown at me and just thought it looks authentic, it looked Japanese, it looks like it looked like the Japanese company that made these, and I was wrong. I'm sorry, I apologize for that, but very cool work by Has No Talent. Created that. Lovely, lovely. Also, I want to show you my picture that I put on Instagram. Look at that with all the credit collection together. I do want to specify, some of us here on YouTube and even on Instagram call these carbonized figures. People are correcting, saying, no, 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 it's the credits. We know it's the credits. The credit, the end credits with the pictures. We just think the paint job is a carbonized paint job. It might not be. It could be. I. J Let's have a look what the Pally Boys say about it. Um, We're going to be talking about the uh, the carbonized ones in a minute. Um, yeah. Well, these are the credit ones. They're not carbonized. Yeah, they're carbonized as well. The credit. No, they're not. The credit is not carbonized. <laughs> but they look. They're carbonized yeah, the, on it. The figures. The figures are. No, 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 They've got dry, they're like dry brush, different colors, like browns and whatever the artwork yeah. looks at, at the back, at the end of the thing. That's what so, they're made to look like, the artwork at the end of the... Eternal. That's why yeah, so It's a play yeah, on yeah. words. It's a play credits. on words because they're, they're the... It's credit. The credit. The, style, the yeah. stylized, yeah, at the end credits of the episode where yeah. they have that kind yeah, of artsy, artsy version. Plus, there's like imperial yeah. credits attached to yeah. it. So. Yeah. I yeah. thought that you was very on. clever. Very clever. Yeah. 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 So you got what so, they were going for. Yeah. So everyone has their opinion. It doesn't matter what you call them. Their credit collection line. You can call them carbonized. You can call them whatever you want. They're all available individually, exclusively. And I've said in the past was Mando and Imperial Death Trooper. Our Amazon. Caradoon is your target. IG-11 is your GameStop. And your heavy infantry Mandalorian is your best buy. So good luck to all of you who can get all of them. Uh, if you don't want to collect them, give them a wide berth. But hey, they look beautiful to me. The Child, animatronic child, due out November, December. You know, Christmas release. Here's a little video off the internet of what it looks like. Brilliant stuff. Makes all the noises. Blinking, ears wobb wobbling. Lovely, lovely. Yes, I have this on pre-order for my daughters. They'll love it. Anyway. 
Now, as promised, time to cut this open. Oop. Yeah, it's from the US of A. This is from Raymond Z. Raymond Z has been very generous over the years, gifting me so many lovely items. One of them in particular. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Look, it's my Gamorrean guard, which you can now pre-order from the online stores in the US, I think, Entertainment Earth and Dorkside and a few others because they're getting a re-release. So everyone can get themselves a Gamorrean Guard. So you won't have to pay some crazy price. Here in this country, I think online, they're selling for like $150. I kid you not, 150 Aussie dollar redos at the moment for that one. So re-releasing, we'll get the scalpers price right down. Now, Ramus said there's a lot of things in here for my kids and there's a figure in here for me. <laughs> okay, yes, there is some things for my kids. <laughs> it's Elmo. Excellent. My boy will love that. Texas, the Lone Star State. Oh, look at this. Deep in the heart of Texas. Thank you. Oh, that's a magnet. That's going on my fridge. Thank you, Raymond. <laughs> Candy. Wow. That's a lot of jelly beans. Made in the USA. Love them. Alright, there's, there's a lot of things in here, which I didn't realise there was so much. <laughs> Some more kids' toys. Thank you so much. My little guy, he's going to enjoy them. There's things for my daughters. <laughs> Lovely. What is this? A puzzle! I'm guessing this one's for me. Yes. Love the Fruity Pebbles. Quite hard to get in this country. We don't have the brand Post available in supermarkets. They are kind of like candy store sort of deal only. You're going up here. You're as good as a damn figure. <laughs> My girl's going to love these. Sasha Banks, as seen in Mandalorian Season 2. And her tag team partner, Bailey. I'm a hugger. <laughs> She's a bad girl now. That's really cool. My girls are going to love these. Not sold in this country. Not sold. Never seen them at a department store. Ever. Oh, this is for me. <laughs> Do you remember Papa Gord a long time ago? Had a giveaway and I won the, the, the thing. Great Marvel figure. And I got another Marvel figure. Oh my god! <laughs> my wife's like, don't collect so many lines. Just stick to Star Wars. I'm like, I love them all. See, I'm getting into G.I. Joe. Wrestling. Marvel. They're all so good. And... Hey, a game for all the family? Uno! Thank you so much, Raymond. I appreciate that. Look at that, everybody! Woohoo! I need to get stuck into these jelly beans. Awesome stuff. Up there you go. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Raymond. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This, is, this has been the news! There will be more updates coming up very, very soon because of the Hasbro PulseCon. We'll have lots of reveals and stuff in future videos. Hope you all look forward to that. Don't forget to check out my fan mail video from, from Keith over in the United States as well. Massive Veer Box. Wow. And, and if you'd like to help out the channel, Amazon Affiliates down below has a link. Go and buy yourself something nice and a little bit helps out the channel. That's the influencer thing. Also, on my Redbubble store, you can buy some merch and a little bit of that helps out the channel as well. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. And if you want to be like Raymond and send some fan mail, PO Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.